My personal favorite is what I call inducing, induced belief. Induced belief, this is a way of believing God after a silent conversation with yourself, based on scripture. There comes a time there are things for you to believe. You induce belief. You induce belief. When David says in Psalms 18, 17, when he says, I shall not die but live to declare the glory of the Lord, that was induced belief. He was under siege. Things looked upside down. But I will not die but live. My dear friends, there are things in our lives you have to declare to yourself. You induce the belief. You start it up in, in your spirit. My prayer for you that God gives the grace at times to stop the, that belief. We chokore when and say, I'm going to bring it out. David said, I will not die, but I will live to declare the glory of God. At times you talk to yourself. You say, I will not die. I will see my children. I will see my grandchildren. I will see my great-grandchildren. I will hold them with my hands. I have said it. I have to declare those things. I will never do this. Or this will never happen. There's belief, my dear friends. You induce it to yourself. You start it up to yourself. And at times, I say, at times, you must speak this, you must speak this divine moments very well. But you may induce it and say, no, my marriage will not end. My marriage will not end. My mother's marriage ended. My grandmother's marriage ended. Mine is not ending. I'm inducing belief. My children will not get lost. I'm inducing belief. There comes a time, my dear friends, no one will believe for you. You bring the belief out of your belly and you speak. From the abyss, the Bible never says this, that as a man speaketh in his heart, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That is where the inducing of belief comes from. And it's very important for us. Because many a times, my dear friends, you know, is it in, in, in Mark 5.28, the woman with the issue of uh, blood, she is there, Christ is passing. The Bible says, I like the Mark's description, because Mark says something that others don't say. Mark says that she said, she said to herself, in fact, some, some, some traditions say that she thought, she thought to herself, if only I can touch the hem of his garment. She thought to herself, she said to herself, she induced her belief and said, if I could only touch the hem of his garment, I'll be okay. There comes a time when you say, Lord, if I choose to hold on long enough, I will see you come through. Because I'm choosing to hold on and choosing to induce my own belief. I don't want anyone to believe for me. This one is my own belief. I'll believe for myself. But my children will not die of this. Or I will not be sick. Or I will not be broke. I will not be poor. I will not beg. I will not borrow. You induce it in yourself. I've given you testimonies of times in my life when I induced it myself. And I said enough is enough. Enough is enough. I will never delay to do this. You know. Truly when I was struggling to, to pay rent, I was always paying rent late. One day I said, no, I have never seen the righteous for a second, neither their seed begging for bread. I will not struggle again. There comes a time you speak it to yourself. You speak it to yourself and say, this won't be my story. I will not die here. I will not die like this. This won't be my story. My dear friends, induced belief. It's my personal favorite.